vaccinations expand to a major sports venue in Metro Atlanta. But we start with Adam Murphy and Adam facilities holding vaccines. What have you found? Good evening, Rick. It's a real concern. The governor has expressed his concerns as well with this. And I will tell you, I spoke with one senior today who turned 65 in a few weeks. He tells me he was planning ahead to schedule that vaccine, considering he has health issues like diabetes. And he was taken back and very surprised by what he was told when he contacted this state approved vac vaccination site. The COVID-19 vaccine made its way into Georgia last month and still it's hard to come by. I just hope they didn't correct the situation. Lee Wong located an official vaccination site in Peachtree Corners, but when he called the Suburban Medical Center to schedule an appointment, he was turned away. When I called him, it was just, just after the, I watched it on the news. That's when I mentioned to them, I said, I learned from the news that the, this is not supposed to happen. You're supposed to give it to everyone. everyone. And then they say, no, it's only for our patients. It's a common concern throughout the state. And one governor, Brian Kemp, said cannot happen. Let me be clear. If you are a provider who has signed a contract with the state and are receiving vaccines, we expect you to be administering those doses quickly and as safely as possible. If this issue continues, the state will take possession of those doses and ensure that vaccinations continue. CBS 46 contacted several of the 174 vaccination sites listed on the state's website. Most had a waiting list or were out of the vaccine. We did find another spot though, the Gwinnett Clinic Lawrenceville, who told us they were providing the vaccine to their patients first. If there's a location for vaccination and they have vaccine, they should vaccinate people who qualified according to uh, state uh, criteria. I think that's a little bit unfair, in, in, especially in view of a uh, rampant uh, virus uh, situation. Now I informed the governor's office of our findings. They said they will be looking into this and tracking down anyone holding back on those vaccines. Bottom line, the governor said, as you heard in the story, that anyone that is a state approved vaccination site that has vaccines available must provide them to anyone over the age of 65. Live in Peachtree Corners tonight, Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News. Adam, thanks very much.